What is up my anime geeks and manga freaks? Welcome back to another video and today we have not one, not two, not three, not four, but five comedy recommendations guaranteed to make you laugh. And for today's video we try to reach out to five different audiences, making sure that everybody leaves with at least one or two series that they fall in love with and end up laughing too. And please keep in mind that while we love Gintama, Daily Lives of High School Boys, and Plastic Nason, those videos will be excluded from this list as they're often talked about a lot. Today we want to shine some light on series that aren't talked about as often. So if you guys enjoy my video, please consider subscribing to the channel, it helps me out a lot. Also please drop that like on this video, it really does help me out and I appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get started with our first entry. And for our first entry we have Space Battleship Tiramisu, and this is perfect for any fan of the mecha genre. While its score on my anime list might showcase something of mediocrity, its comedic charm and effort really display something otherwise. And our story follows mecha pilot Subaru, soldier of the space battleship Tiramisu, and his comedic OCD efforts in order to save the human race from intergalactic war. And with that in mind, those seeking a shorter series, Space Battleship Tiramisu is perfect for you, as each episode is only about 7 minutes. Despite its short time length, each episode is still filled with comedic gold, as Subaru and his companions will use their crude, airheaded humor to have you bursting with laughter. And best of all, no topic is off limits, making for some original content, which I really do appreciate. And to add to the anime's magic, the voice actors did a really good job at creating the same quirky, unique atmosphere of the show. And despite its short episode length and low budget, Studio Gonzo did an exceptional job at making sure that this anime was not only presentable, but clear to its audience, which is something that I really appreciate, as often we don't see that with shorter series like this. And with that being said, the anime's comedy, the stellar voice actors, and Studio Gonzo's exceptional job set off such a good impression that we ended up seeing a second season and several shorts and specials for this series. And maybe in the future we'll get a season 3, but if you end up falling in love with season 1, you can continue to season 2 and watch these shorts and these specials, which is something nice. And it goes without saying that any fan of the mecha genre would appreciate this parody, but also those not familiar with the mecha genre would still find amusement in it, as I'm not the biggest fan of the mecha genre, but I still found this to be extremely entertaining to watch, and I really like the second season and the specials as well. And with that being said, Space Battleship Tiramisu is the perfect first entry for our list. And coming in at number 2 we have Excel Saga, and this is another parody like series with no boundaries. And anybody looking for some late 90s comedic gold, this is perfect for you. And being my second favorite series of all time, this show does not disappoint. Mainly revolving around the inept terrorist group known as Across, Lord El Palazzo and his subordinates Excel and Hyatt desire global domination. However, despite their devoted efforts, Excel and Hyatt are incapable of successfully executing their plan. And with each episode being its own self-contained story, our cast embarks on several journeys, holding no punches as it parodies whatever its heart desires. And Excel Saga really deserves so much more attention than it has received in the past, as it's filled with comedic gold and high energy, as it had no fear of making or creating enemies, as it even challenged the Japanese TV censors, which is crazy to think of, especially during the late 90s, but it was an extremely entertaining episode to be. And the anime does such a great job at differentiating itself from other anime that it's really difficult to find a suitable comparison. I usually tell my friends to picture Team Rocket, but a more mature version of them, a much more parody-like version with adult themes behind it, and it's really good and entertaining to say the least. And to add on to its already humorous story, there are several other side stories to keep its fans and audience entertained and engaged throughout the entirety of the show. We have Pedro trying to find his family and be with them once again. Menchi, Excel and Hyatt's emergency food supply, trying to escape from them at any chance she gets. And we have Excel and Hyatt's neighbors in detailing their bizarre work environment as social workers for the Japanese government. And while Excel Saga is clearly no masterpiece, its uniqueness and well-done parodies on other series do such a good job at creating a memorable experience for its audience, which is why it gets a recommendation on this list. And with the addition of its outstanding voice actors and dedicated writers, Excel Saga helped normalize the insane over-the-top moments in anime, and we wouldn't get series like Fooly Cooly or Daily Lives of High School Boys or Plastic Nason without it. Even Gintama, to a sense, we wouldn't get without Excel Saga, because they took that chance during such an early time where it was difficult to find and fight the Japanese censors. 
And after taking everything into account, Excel Saga is perfect for any comedy lover, and anybody who loves bizarreness mixed with a little bit of genius. And that's why Excel Saga makes the number two entry on this list. And for our third entry, we have Cromartie High School. And Cromartie High School is one of those series I often hear mentioned, but never really discussed. And it's quite a shame, as it's a hilarious series. As, as it follows the misadventures of Takashi and his delinquent classmates at Cromartie High School. And the aimless wanderlust of their episodic adventures is definitely an acquired taste, but boy does it deliver if you love that style. And with each of its 26 episodes pelting its audience with 12 minutes of insane buffoonery, the anime aims to take mundane and cliché themes and turn them inside out to its audience, creating something completely unique and fun to watch. And it successfully does this as it creates some of the most funniest and memorable scenes in anime history. Without a doubt though, the anime's high point is definitely its ever diverse cast. As we have a delinquent, a non-delinquent, a gorilla, a robot, the son of a robot, a Freddie Mercury clone, a servant that has no name, a leader who gets motion sickness really easily, and the list goes on. It's cast just so much fun, and, and it goes without saying that Cromartie High School has some pretty unique artwork as well, and that's kind of needed to help distract from the lack of animation. However, that lack of animation shouldn't be viewed at in a negative manner, as it kind of creates some of the charm towards the anime itself, which is kind of nice. And Cromartie High School does illuminate from its extremely bizarre setting, but also the strong attempts to bend normalize activities as well. And like I said at the beginning, Cromartie High School definitely is an acquired taste, but that shouldn't stop you from at least giving it a chance and going through the first couple of episodes, which is needed, as the first maybe two or three episodes might be a little slow, but it's something that I definitely recommend and it definitely builds up over time. And lastly, if you're looking for a series to watch with your friends, I think that this is a perfect series to watch with a group of friends who love anime. It definitely offers some uniqueness and you get to see some of the most quirky, unique anime of all time in one setting. And because of this, Cromartie High School definitely makes a great ballot for this list. And for our fourth entry, we have Turning Girls. And Turning Girls is an experimental ONA done by Studio Trigger's female staff. And this is something that I really think that a female audience would appreciate. And even the male audience to a degree, as I enjoyed it a lot. And the web series approaches the struggles of adulthood through a comedic way. And although its comedy might be geared towards a Japanese audience, and that might explain why it didn't really succeed in the West, it still is something that does offer some uniqueness and definitely gives you a cultural perspective of the Japanese comedy, especially for women. And the anime can definitely show that these women had no animation skills, as they were writers or producers, but they weren't animators. And you can count each frame, maybe per episode, on your hands. And with that being said, the comedy feels genuine, as it's from the perspective of the female writers and the females who worked on this project. And that's something we don't see often with comedy series in today's day and age. And that's something that I do appreciate a lot, and I think that you would appreciate as well. But with that being said, any fan of Studio Trigger would appreciate this as well, as they had several other successful web series, and there's going to be more in the future, as we all know. But I think Turning Girls was such a bold move done by Studio Trigger, as they handed over a project to people with no experience, and they made their own story from it. And although it wasn't successful globally, it was successful at least in Japan. And I think for that, that gives it enough reason to be a recommendation on this list. And for our fifth and final entry, we have Senyu. And do you love fantasy and RPG games but have no time? Well, I think Senyu is perfect for you, as it embarks on the journeys of Alba and Ross in their attempt to destroy and defeat the Demon King. And with each episode only spanning about four and a half minutes, the short manages to capture the traits of some old school RPG games and twist and form them into the show's own identity, making fun of them and other shonen cliches along the way. And despite the short episode length, the anime is jam-packed with comedy and spunk, distracting you from its loosely connected story and making for a memorable experience. And to add to the anime's high points, its very eccentric main cast not only distinctively stand out, but help bring forth the comedic value of the show itself. And all the other traits normally used to review series check off as well. The various uses of artwork created a nice experience and some originality. And the voice actors seem to really enjoy this project and their time doing it, which is also very nice to see. And overall, Senyu is a perfect series for anybody who loves the fantasy and RPG game genres, but also somebody who has no time. It's a charmful series that will have you laughing numerous times as it parodies whatever game and whatever anime it would like to. And if you fall in love with the first season, you can watch the second season too, which is just as short. And that is why Senyu makes the fifth and final entry on this list. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for sticking with me till the end. I really enjoyed this video as I love comedy anime and comedy manga and comedy in general. Please in the comments list your favorite comedy series of all time. I would really appreciate to hear that. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps me out a lot. And check out my other videos. It will be really nice for you to see those as well. And until next time.